Okay, um, this is just a video on uh, taking the exhaust off of uh, Polaris 2020 uh, 850, the Patriot motor. Uh, it's really straightforward, so I'm not going to... I didn't do a play-by-play -play because it's really just some springs. And uh, it is difficult to get at these springs, so I am ordering a tool, I should say. It's a spring tool. It's going to make life a lot easier because this motor is super tight. And uh, because it's super tight... Uh, it's really hard to get your hands in there to pull some of these bottom springs off. So I'll just, I'll say what I had difficulties with, just in case you're looking to take your exhaust off. So here, let's flip the camera. Okay, so it's quite simple. Exhaust sensor has to come off. That's this guy. Plugs in over here. There's a plug harness right right there so that just unplugs straightforward it's zip tied here the excess make sure you zip it up so it doesn't melt on the exhaust you got two springs down here you got one underneath which is a pickle a real pickle um, I had real troubles getting at it uh, there's just zero room so I'm hoping by getting this tool um, you know by getting this tool that it's gonna help me out so um, to get at that, I did have to take the whole canister off. This guy here. You have to take it off to get the whole exhaust off anyways. Um, so you have to work on the two springs. These two springs here, which are these two. Sorry, get the camera away. These two springs right here. Top one's easy to do. Bottom one, again, is a real bad angle. And uh, I had to use a, where's, where's that screwdriver? Caleb. I just had to use a real long screwdriver to get in at it to get it off so <clears throat> that and it was so hopefully that tool will help so basically you got your two springs here this goes this basically goes up uh, can you uh, pan out for me on the camera Thanks, man. Just want to get this whole. Do you got this whole thing in the in there? Okay, right on. Um, you got one exhaust sensor here for the canister. You got your two springs here. The bottom one is difficult. You got your side spring here, and then pan out a bit. You got the other spring on this side. Ouch! Oh, something pinched my knee. Yeah, you got the exhaust spring here. We're not putting it in yet, but that's what you got on that part. Once you get this canister out of the way, and I'll go back to, once you got that out, then you can get a tool there and work on that one, which is a pain in the butt. That was the problem, child. Um, okay, so once you get those springs off, it's pretty straightforward. You got one left over here to take that spring off. Um, so and now I got all the springs off. And uh, still can't get the stupid exhaust out through this opening here, right here. See how it's so tight? For I tried twisting different angles. You know tried everything I could to uh, get this darn exhaust off and I ended up taking a hammer with a long extension socket where is that oh, I put it back in the garage long extension socket I put her right on top of there and I gave it a little hammer just hammered it slightly down not even an eighth of an inch around an eighth of an inch I think and I just did this one and that was enough to pull the whole exhaust out of this little, um, tunnel of love or what do you want to call it real pain until I bent that down slightly don't do it a lot because you know it's you're messing a little bit with the integrity of the exhaust system um, 
but if you slightly tweak it it's it's fine just don't I wouldn't hammer it all the way down or get it real down like that I, don't, I just I don't see the point of doing that um, but uh, to keep this video short that's it that's how you take your exhaust off you guys have a great week and uh, we'll see you on the next video cheers yeah mm -hmm. so we were talking about getting these springs on and how much of a pain they are the ones on the bottom and I just thought of this now so I thought I would video it to add it to the video here basically grab a wire any kind of wire feed it through and uh, here I'll take this one out because that one's done I think it's on there isn't it yeah it looks on there so I'll just demonstrate on this one so much easier to do when it's on top again you're just doing this for the ones that are really hard to get at Let's see if you need to put a nice wire on okay pull and I did that for the bottom spring that you can't even see I don't know can you get the camera down there And that made life 10 times easier by just doing a simple grab a, a wire. Get a fairly strong wire, you don't want it breaking. But I'll show you how it goes on. I guess you're ready? Yeah. So pull and then pull the wire out. And that's it. That should help some guys out there with those exhaust springs that are hard to get at. I wish I thought about this a long time ago. Anyways. Up. 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 Ow! Ow! Right on my hand. Let's go.